so glad we get some equality with Transformers, especially with Moonracer. I mean, look at the balance of actual figure next to the crap on the back. See, plus is plus, math, two sides of coin, equality. Moonracer is pretty airheaded at times, a little clumsy, even getting caught in a trap, but there's still a warrior spirit in herself. Might not always make the right choice, but her heart is in the right place. Like Sayori, but without the... Moving on. In Transformers, Moonracer was first shown in the original cartoon, however, throughout most of the franchise, she never had a figure. There was a Green RC exclusive, but that was a phony. It was until Power of the Primes where the optimistic lady showed herself in figure form. Moonracer transforms into a Cybertronian car that's shaped like the cartoon, but takes the liberty to add new detail to make it more investing. Such as the shaft shape that's demonetized, someone's torso, and hands! Despite the, well, imperfections, let's say, there is some decent detail found throughout. I think the shape is good, the blue windscreen is a nice touch, I love the colors, and the detail in the headlights look fine as hell. There's a porthole on the back to attach the prime armor, because if there's one thing that needs, it's more length. You can also attach weapons to the side of the back and the front, though it points slightly downwards, so that's not good. The arms doesn't lock into place too well, more or less just rest into the tabs. And I can't avoid the unfortunate kibble seen mostly from the back but I just enjoy the overall style that it just fades into. This is certainly not for everyone, but I'll give it this, the tits are aerodynamic. There's even a twisty joint in the middle, so if a wheel's off the ground, you can adjust it to a proper level. Also for those curvy Hot Wheels tracks, ooh, how fun. I'm assuming the alt mode had to make sacrifices for a number of reasons, which I'll get into. I'm not bothered by the result and I can't stay mad, but I can clearly see why this could get on people's nerves. I just find it unique. Robot mode. point you need to know on the transformation. When you open up the torso, make sure the rotation joint on the waist attached to the canopy is on top. Otherwise, you will not be able to open up the torso and flip out the head. Kyrie, why are you acting so chill? Moonracer's looking damn fine, but there's just something really off. Oh yeah, holy shit, that kibble! I generally don't really care about kibble, things have to go somewhere, but there's a limit. There's a few reasons why this happened, one of which could be that they wanted to keep the figure with this figure so they just shoved everything off to the side which i don't think is a good excuse another reason could be that the original character never got a toy and was just in the cartoon but no doubt they can make changes to at least spread this around we can rebuild her we have the technology but we don't have masterpiece budget. I think another reason that might be missed more often is that in Power of the Primes, the deluxe figures also transform into arms and legs, so she would have to incorporate the port in the torso, as well create a stable leg. I'm not saying these are good reasons, or at least excusable to give her a better rating, but I had to comment on it. However, the base figure does look nice, she does pose as well, and she can keep her stance with the junk in the trunk. Some fans prefer leaving the canopy section down to create a tail coat. And while that's a good option, to me she just looks like she's got an escape pod in her ass. Is that Power Glide's fetish? Ah! I can't stay mad with that face. The colors are wonderful, it's molded very well, and just has this light personality, though I get a sense that she's not taking shit from anyone. Did someone say, articulation? Ball jointed head, hinge joint neck, ball joint shoulders, ball joint elbows, waist rotation, ball joint hips, ah! knee joint, foot forward and back, and slight side to side. Also, this head pops off way too easily. Posability is fine if you can balance half the weight of the figure on the back, and the detailing is good aside from. <laughs> But what I really like is the colors with the bluish green, white, and faded purple mixed with the trans blue and yellow detail, and there's a clear style choice. Let's take a look at the weapons as the sharpshooter Moonracer comes with an awesome black blaster with a scope peg at the bottom and one on the back for that's not how you hold a gun, that's how you prepare for a whacking. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. The backpack has a peg hole so you can attach the weapon for storage because if there's one thing she needs, it's more kibble. She also comes with the Prime Armor exclusive in matching colors to the figure, which is wonderful. It can tap it in the chest for I don't think she's pregnant, I think she just wants attention. You could plug it into the hand with the peg or onto the side of the arm. As with the gimmick, you can take off the clear piece and add a Prime Master to power up the figure. The clear component can be added to the hand as a gun or vacuum. Power Glide? What are you doing? Power Glide, no! Don't do it! What about Historia? Power Glide, my monetization! I don't blame him. I mean, you see the thighs on this thing? I might be sexist. Ah, oh, shit, she fell over. Could someone help her off? In leg mode, you'll have to provide your own foot, but if you want a leg with fists for kneecaps, do we have a figure for you? Oh. I think it would be fine if I wasn't too concerned about the tabs at the bottom that slip in and don't lock in. You have to keep an eye on it, because if things are off, it won't slide in right, and you'll have to deal with the mess. Unless you have a remold or maybe swoop to even things out, the thin and awkward shape of the arm mode feels very abnormal. I do like the coloring going right to the hand, but there's a slight curve to the peg hole that makes the wrist look weird. I will say with the majority of the arms, the upper legs are pretty much an obvious glaring point. I get why they had to do this to keep articulation, but thanks to the canopy, there's a better flow to it. It's hard to pinpoint exactly what my thoughts are in recommending this figure. There's things I like in the style, but there's certain points that needed to be redesigned, not to mention the mass of kibble. This is not for everyone, and I completely understand both sides. I'll just give you my take. I think she needs some work, but personally, I'm pretty happy. A lot of the problems shouldn't be looked over, but I'm really not that bothered. I'm fine with the alt mode, and if the base robot is fine, then I don't really care about the kibble in general. I guess Paraglide likes a woman with a little junk on her. And he cheats with the human. The show's weird.